impossible is nothing to somebody that tries. Everything that someone said was impossible has happened. When they said um, they can't get people on the moon because it, it, they didn't want to believe it. I had no way in a million years. Everybody said, you know where you're going to be champ. You're too small. Yeah. So you're too short. No way. These guys are too big for you. And that's where delusion comes in because delusion is only delusional when you don't accomplish the goals of making your delusions a reality. You have to continue to practice. The more you practice it, they say if you practice it every for a year, you'll be better if you only practice it for a month. So the more you do it, the better you become. I make mistakes, but I strive every day to be a perfectionist. And we all know God only made one thing perfect. And that's my boxing record. My dad is a millionaire. My mother, she's a millionaire. And the investments were, were for my grandchildren, not just my children. Yeah. You know, put them in a position. That's really what it's about. You know, I gave the sport of boxing my whole life. I dedicated my whole life to the sport of boxing. And all I ever wanted to do was put my family, my mother, my father, in a comfortable position. If a guy give me great work in the box gym, I go home and say, you gotta tighten up, champ. Yeah. You gotta get it together, champ. And then sometimes I go home and say, is this for me? In the fight game, mm -hmm. um, they couldn't find no fighter that could beat me. The biggest inspiration for me, it was my dad, you know. It was my father, yeah. all my life. You know, it's like, uh, I'm doing all these things only because of him. He was like, for me, is like biggest motivation, you know. He gave me good energy, he gave me good advice, you know. And with him, we knew like what we need, what we want, you know, like exactly. When father put me with the, like, uh, put me wrestling with beer, when, when I told him, hey, this beer tried to bite me. And <laughs> I remember when he told me like, bite him back. No problem. You have to wrestle. You have to keep going. That time, nobody competed from Russia in UFC, and uh, it was very hard to sign. Like when I signed end of the 2011, it was almost impossible to sign with the UFC. Like someone from Russia, yeah. I was like first athlete. I think people in that uh, area, like uh, they just love competition. They, this is like inside their blood, you know. And I think like because of this area. Like uh, like thousands of years, you know, they competition with someone because of uh, uh, like because of this place, like where this place right now, like because of geography, like everything. I think uh, this is our in inside our blood. From UFC middleweight champion of the world, how does it feel and how does it look? Wait up, I am player one. I've said this before. I started the game at level two. These boys are still loading. <laughs> You ever heard about an anime called Death Note? Anyone? Hands up. Yeah, so he's the Grim Reaper, right? I have a Shinigami with me. And I just had to write his name because I knew. I was like, he's not going to last. I just wrote his name in the Death Note. And those who know the rules of the Death Note, they know in a certain time frame that after your name's written in the Death Note, the Shinigami will get you. People, every time I've said something, I said, I'm the UFC middleweight champion from my UFC debut. You just don't know it yet. I did that from my UFC debut, and I did. My, before my, my UFC debut, I said I was going to fight Robert Whitaker for this belt in 2019, and I did. I said I'm going to beat John Jones 2021, Raider Stadium, International Fight Week, and I will. Every single time I say something, I always find a way. There's a method to my madness. I put it out there in front of the world, so that way... I do everything in my power. My subconscious does everything in its power to make it happen. If not, then I have to eat my words. And I don't like doing that, you know? So I make them eat their words every single time. If you ever feel, you know, down, sometimes you look at yourself and you give yourself positive affirmations. That was something I used to do every morning. Um, but also therapy, after my first UFC fight, like straight after I got home, I was like, hmm, I need to go see someone about like, this. Think about it like coffee. You know, if you drink coffee, right? Mm -hmm. You get a, a coffee high. And then you crash. So it's like after my first UFC fight, UFC 221 in Perth, there was just a lot of stimulus, a lot of people coming at you. And then when I was finally home alone with my own thoughts, I was just like, it was like a crash. It was like I was sad and I was sad for like a week. And I was like, why am I sad? I just 
made my UFC debut in spectacular fashion, made mm-hmm. 50k bonus. Mm-hmm. And I realized this isn't really normal, so I sought the help that I needed to help me adjust to the life. And it wasn't until um, my fourth UFC fight, that was in New York, MSG, mm-hmm. that I felt like after I got back, I was able to integrate back into like my own life properly without being in a low. When I say you. Not everyone is mentally ill, but if you don't look after your mental health, Mm -hmm. just like if you don't look after your physical health, you're going to get physically ill. You have to be on top of it. 